Hello mga kasubs and welcome to the Sarsicles TV. You have me Mark and welcome to this uh, peaceful, quiet and cold Sunday. And wherever you are, I hope you are ch as chill as I am right now and safe and uh, warm and, you know, in the company of friends or good company. Uh, what we have here is a, uh, a recommendation from Rainier, Rainier Zufall. And the recommendation is Zlava. Oh, excuse me. It's really the morning. <sighs> Need coffee. One second. Mm -hmm. ah, ASMR right there. Love Bites and the song Soldier Stands Solitarily. So it's like Soldier Stands Solo or Alone. Anyway, this is a live performance. When I did a search, there's actually a, uh, you know, that album co cover only, audio only thing. And then this was the second uh, search result. So I, I went for the, of course, the live performance. So before we give it a go, just a quick thank you to all our viewers, subscribers, members, and sponsors. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Sana kayo magsawa. And without any further delays, let us give this song a go in three, two, one.
So it looks like the end of the song, but we're just gonna keep playing. I'd love to see them, you know, um, join in front of the stage and take their bow. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So that's the end. That's the end of the song. The uh, song actually finished somewhere around five minutes fifty, so I thought it was a like an actual seven minute song. But it turns out it's it's the uh, you know the the crazy part that lengthened it. That you know that's the one that. Uh, but uh, song wise, you know, it's around only five minutes fifty. Uh, It sounded like the, uh, so this so based on the video this would have been their closing song. Let's just check. Ah, sixteen. So there was a uh, like some sort of an encore with three more songs. But it it's a nice song to to finish a uh, concert, right? Yeah, it's a uh, high energy and good vibes. So in the intro or the beginning of the video, it sounded like some sort of a clock ticking sound, or maybe some sort of a metronome. You know, the one that moves left and right. Yeah, sounded like that. And then there's these nice uh, uh, focused uh, blue lights setting the the mood of the song. And then uh, in there's the part where it featured you know some guitar tapping. And the stage, so here there's a side that where it where the stage is lit as red, and then there's a side of the stage that was lit um, blue. So let's have a look at if we can see the a video of the entire uh, stage. So it's like it, it it's it's like the uh, you know fire and ice yin and yang thing. Okay, here it is. So there's a division. So actually, there's three. So there's red, there's blue, and then there's darkness in the middle. So very cool uh, setup. So the uh, song has this really crushing speed. That and you can see the drums. It's really high energy. Imagine how many songs did they play before this one? So this is the 16th song. And based on the energy of the drummer and actually based on the energy of everyone the speed of their play it, it felt like it's not really if if this was weren't listed i would have uh, guessed somewhere around 12 songs 10 songs at best if this is the type of speed that they'll be playing wow so so yeah crushing speed and the drums is just you know wow in in, in the uh, performance so the power vocals we love it when she does that ah, you know it, it's like pulling it pulling it and trying to push the envelope on how far your vocals can go uh and then there's this part in the song before the chorus where you can hear the ding 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 it's it's like rapidly picking a single string as you play a note and then it's also muted so it's like so it's a very nice uh, chopping uh, sound so i i kind of dig that uh, part in the song and then around 3 minutes 14 there's the uh, power lead part so same same formula two lead guitarists so one plays one uh, plays her part the second plays her part and then they both um, play together and what I like about this particular part where they play together uh, this is not I don't think this is the first time that they did it but I believe this will be the first time that I will cite that particular technique let me just see if I can find it so what happened was so they they start so this is the third like the third section of the lead part where two the both both guitarists played together and then what they did was they were picking and then all of a sudden they switched to tapping and then they switched back to picking so what's interest about interesting about that is the challenge because they are doing it together at the same time if it were just one person it is challenging but you 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 have you add one more person playing the same thing and it has to be exactly timed that's where the challenge lies let, let me see if we can uh, find it <laughs> ah. 
Okay, so it's, it's after... It's after this part. It's after this one. Here you go. There you go. That's it. There you go. See that part? See that part where her hands, her right hand, went towards the neck, and she does the that topping part, and then she went back and with the picking. So that's a very cool, very uh, complicated or challenging uh, part in their in their lead, and I kind of dig dig that. Really love them for being able to execute that perfectly. Four minutes fifteen. There was a some airtime for the bassist to strut her stuff. She's uh, using what looks like a, some sort of a five-stringed uh, jazz bass. Let's see. So it's four fifteen. So let's put it uh, around four minutes ten seconds. Okay. Let's let's have a go. So it's it's brief, but you know it's there. There you go. See, she was there. So uh, very cool, very cool. So there you have it. That's my reaction. So very awesome, very exciting band to listen to from start to finish. And I'm not pertaining to just one song. I'm pertaining to that in this entire concert. So I haven't had the chance to see uh, a link to the entire concert. But, you know, uh, check out this song. The link is in the uh, description of our reaction video. For now, that will, that's all we have. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. If you haven't done it yet, these are the stuff you can do to show loving to our channel. Please do as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the Star Sequels TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.